Hey guys, let's talk about WordPress in 2018. In a nutshell, WordPress is still a mainstay of web design and development. Why? What do I mean by mainstay? I mean that so many people use WordPress, so many small businesses use WordPress. And this is not gonna change anytime soon. There's no other platform, blogging platform, that comes even close. Well, excuse me, WordPress is much more than a blogging platform. It used to be just a blogging platform, but now it's a total content management system. And it's by far the most popular one in the world. Many, many small businesses depend on it. And there's a huge, huge ecosystem built up around WordPress, whether it be the theming, whether it be plugins, e-commerce components, and a whole bunch of other things. If you are a WordPress professional, that means you understand how to install, configure WordPress, you know about theming, configuring themes, building themes from scratch, or you're at the elite level and you know some PHP and you know how to build plugins for WordPress, it's just about unlimited number of contracts for you in that field. WordPress is just so popular, so pervasive, and for some reason, a lot of young uh, programmers, young nerdlings, don't find WordPress uh, sexy or cool. And I can see why, you know, uh, you know, there's other areas that seem cooler and sexy, but there's nothing as cool and as sexy than making a lot of money for your time. So if you uh, put the time, learn WordPress, put the time, learn some PHP, of course you gotta know your HTML5 and CSS, you should be able to set up a great business as a WordPress web professional, WordPress professional maybe, depending on what you want to call it. It's just such a great field to be in. So yeah, WordPress, though it's been around for a while, its install base is so huge. And the install base is mostly small business owners who need something more than a static website, who need something more than a Wix website. So if you got those chops, you got those skills, you're gonna have yourself a great time as a developer. You know what's cool about developing for WordPress as well is that you have yourself a platform that's known. So in a short period of time, you should be able to solve any WordPress problems that may come up, any theming problems that may come up because it's, it's fixed, right? It's not like you're developing custom apps from scratch every time. So how do you become a WordPress professional? Well, first you gotta learn the basics of web development and design. That means HTML5, CSS3, a touch of JavaScript. You gotta know what jQuery is, you gotta know what Bootstrap is, you gotta know what, uh, you gotta know your PHP as well. It's not absolutely necessary, but if you get some basic PHP skills, then that takes you to a whole new level. My full stack web developer course, my interactive web developer course will teach you all this and a lot more, by the way. And then once you have that, then you just got to install some uh, WordPress, install on your own site, of course, and just get to know the, um, uh, the environment around WordPress, the ecosystem. The ecosystem around, around WordPress, like the themes that are available, the free ones, the commercial ones, the pros and the cons, the different themes, uh, the top 10 plugins in WordPress would be kind of cool to know so that you know which you know, what you, uh, what you have out there, what you can install for your clients and so on. And maybe understand, of course, you gotta know the basics of theming. My, again, my interactive web developer course teaches you WordPress theming. And uh, maybe a little bit of plugin work as well. Although again, be able to design plugins from scratch, not necessarily uh, required given you have so much out there already and just being able to lock down WordPress in terms of security. You got all that covered, you, should, you have enough skills to go out there and start securing a lot of WordPress-based contracts. And in a short period of time, you could find yourself with a stable of clients who come to you on a regular basis. You could set up retainers with them and it's just like a very lucrative, very lucrative degree, uh, degree a very lucrative business to get into. So I'm thinking in terms of uh, freelancing, although, you know, you could get a job working for a WordPress freelancing studio and get a really good job doing that as well. So yes, WordPress is extremely viable in 2018. For some people, it's not the sexiest, but you know, as I said, if you're making money hand over fist, that's pretty sexy.